Good morning. Welcome to Devotions in the Proverbs. I'm Corby Johnson, and it is my pleasure to serve as the pastor at the United Methodist Church in Safford, Arizona. Today we are looking at beginning chapter 26 in the Proverbs. Today is September 4th, and it's a Monday, and so wipe out the sleep from your eyes to get your morning going. I'm going to read this in the Good News Bible, Proverbs 26, verse 1. Praise for a fool is out of place, like snow in summer or rain at harvest time. Praise for a fool is out of place, like snow in the summer or rain in harvest time. Imagine being in a group of people where the project manager is just singing the praises of another employee who you know did not work on the project. The employee had just accepted all of the praise without recognizing the entire office worked together to complete the task because they have been out of the office. Just imagine, what feeling does that bring up in you when you know that someone didn't pitch in, someone didn't help on this project, and yet is taking all the glory for it? I don't know about you, but that little child inside me goes, ah, I'm so mad. You know, I want to point the finger and say, that person wasn't even here. and. That person got kudos for it, and we did all the work, and it's not fair. I think that's kind of a normal reaction, isn't it? Well, it's going to happen to you at some point in time, if it hasn't already happened even more than once. As an activity, I want you to think about this person who single-handedly destroyed the goodwill among the other employees. The goodwill between the employees and the person. And perhaps even the employees and the manager, because the manager wasn't around to see how the work got completed. The manager just handed it off and, and said, get it done. Well, they did. They did get it done. and. Most likely, they did it very well because it was the people who were responsible and reliable that pitched in and got the work done. As an action, be a leader wherever you are. Be diligent, be smart, and be encouraging. Leaders meet with the employees, or sometimes you're a leader and you're not the manager. You're someone who leads and guides these tasks, but you're not a manager yet. Be diligent, be smart, and be encouraging, because the boss will notice at some point in time how valuable your work is and will be able to uplift you, either with an increase in pay, with a small token of um, joy for having you in the workplace, or even a promotion. So no matter where you are, no matter what you do, make the best of your job and shine. God's blessings, and I will see you tomorrow.